Good morning, book lovers of the internet. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe because for every subscriber, I get a new subscriber and they read a page from a book of my choice. So in today's video, I am going to be reviewing this book called Diary of a Void by Emi Yagi. And um, I basically finished reading this in one sitting. Um, it only has about 215 pages or so. And um, it was quite a quick read for me. Um, I bought this from Foils in Stratford in London because I was there uh, for a couple of days and now I'm back in Malta, disappointingly enough. Um, but um, speaking of reading it in one sitting, I read most of it while waiting for my flight back home and also during the first part of it. So um, I'd say it took me about four or five hours um, with a few intervals in between to get through you know, to get some food to eat, to buy some more books, and um, stuff like that, basically. We had a very uh, long wait at the airport, unfortunately, and we were delayed also quite severely. It took us several hours to get back home. That was quite annoying because I was exhausted after three days of walking non-stop. So, um, I'd say that this book was a rather interesting read, and um, in fact, I rated it four stars and they especially love the symbolism on the cover um it's very clever i would say um you can see that there's this person over here the main character right and on her belly there is this white circle with the uh with the title and the author name inside and that basically represents her pregnancy which is what this book is about i mean i'm not sure I'm not quite sure if that is intentional or not, but if it is, it is quite clever. I like that. Um, so Shibata, the main character, is basically the Holy Mary of Japan. And um, she got pregnant because she despises chores. Basically, she's the most committed woman to a role I have ever read about. And um, she also really despises being treated as an inferior by her male colleagues, being expected to clean up after them. And in fact, the... Uh, the theme of gender roles seem seems to play a huge part in this relatively short novel. So it reads just like commentary, and the way it's split into weeks, um, the weeks of the pregnancy, about 40 weeks, rather than chapters, is also extremely cool. And um, yeah, I, I've never seen anything like it before. I was quite impressed with the idea and the thought process behind it. Uh, with this book, I went out of my comfort zone where reading genre that I know I'd enjoy would console me um, is concerned. Um, the, the concept in this one is phenomenal, as I've mentioned. And one thing I would like to criticize, perhaps why I didn't read this uh, more highly, I am still quite skeptical about how abruptly it finished, especially since we were given no explanation regarding how she actually got pregnant. Um, of course, we know that she never had sex because she's a bit of a loner and she doesn't really have a lot of friends. She's uncomfortable uh, socially, even though she attends um, some maternity classes or pregnancy classes to help make her birth easier, even though there isn't a birth um, to be expected. Um, I really dislike open endings and standalone novels, and this isn't because I am particularly curious regarding what's about to happen to the characters or what has already happened but rather because it cheapens the thought process behind the writing and also destroys uh, the build-up, um, as well as the author's foresight, and that is the author's own fault, of course. Um, I suppose a novel like this also indicates the power the mind has over our body and how placebic life can really be. Sometimes if you think that something can happen, it probably will, you know, manifestation and stuff like that. Uh, Taylor Swift people would really... Uh, agree with me on this point and um, as one reviewer correctly pointed out and this is a phrase i really enjoyed um, because it's used to describe this book fake it till you make it um, which is basically the whole premise of this book shibata is a very well written character and we see her pregnancy while always keeping keeping in mind that she shouldn't be pregnant although it is never mentioned whether she had uh, sex anyone sex with anyone or not, though we can imagine that she didn't due to the, the point of the book. In terms of characterization, I was reminded of the protagonist from Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata, which I also uh, reviewed on this channel a couple of weeks ago, I believe. 
I would not go as far as to call uh, what Shibata did a trick, as a few reviewers described it, due to the fact that, that, that she actually did bear a child, or that's the impression I got at the very least. I mean, even when you look it up online, there isn't a definitive answer. Um, it's always a question um, as to whether she had a child or not. But um, she speaks about it as though she did. She um, was so committed to the role that she kept on saying that she'd have a child until she actually did, which is um, impressive to say the least, I suppose. Um, a few more things I have to say. Um, despite the more than underwhelming and anticlimactic ending, ultimately and ironically avoid, as the title indicates, I could not put this down, or couldn't put it down perhaps because I just wanted to get it finished, but it wasn't a bad book at all, I mean, being short, it was a quick read and very enjoyable due to the way it was constructed, and I somehow don't understand the appeal and also surprised myself just by picking it up. Uh, perhaps the title is what drew me in. Uh, I didn't think it would be about a pregnancy at all, I thought it would be about an introverted, shy character um, who is perhaps depressed, who is going through some difficult times in his or her life, kind of like Osamu Dazai is no longer human, but um, for a younger, less mature audience, but it wasn't the case at all. Um, it's not quite clear whether she did have a child or not, but if she didn't, then she succeeded in fooling me too, much like she did with all her colleagues. Um, I recommend it if you want something to make you chuckle at irony or to get you to read something different, something which you wouldn't usually. Um, anyway, that's all I have to say about the book Diary of a Void by Saya Komurata, um, sorry, by Emi Yagi. If you enjoyed what I had to say, please make sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out my shorts, my other videos, anything to help my small channel out and um, hopefully get me to 10,000 subscribers by Christmas time. As usual, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye, guys.